Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Mod Chronicles of Skullduggery Sacricide. Yeah, we finally found one of the infamous Moors that that letter to the city council, the, the racist letter to the city council, warned us about. He really doesn't look like a vagrant, I'll be quite honest. But his valuables are just the same as anybody's, so I will not discriminate. I will take. Sorry. Sorry, man. <laughs> you're, not, you're not supposed to freak out like that. Let's see what his valuables are. Yeah, I really don't understand the stance of the upper crust against people they don't agree with or against the poor when you know what the reason you have money is because of the poor just saying am i incorrect in this thought process here cabinet key thank you for the cabinet key you're the best all right well that's all there is for that so i will leave him asleep in a dreaming of better days See if I can continue on. Yeah. Damn. Just trying to get up there. Stop the thieves! Late Wednesday evening, October 19th, the bedroom of Mr. Buzz. Bronzio, Bronzio, that's a name, was entered by some villain or villains who must have been acquainted with the situation of the house. They took the contents of Mr. B's chest, estimated to a value of 2,000 gold coins. It is requested that all tavern keepers in Santa Letta be watchful of suspicious persons who have a redundance of coin, like they would know, which their appearance would by by no means bespeak them to be possessed of. What? You look poor, so you shouldn't have that much money. 100 gold coin reward will be given for securing the thief of, or thieves and further for the stolen property. Food not works. Precisely. Food not... Hello? Hi, how are you? I will take you with gusto. Uh, oh. Let's see if we can get over to him. How are you? I would like it if you went away. Do you mind? I'd like your key, too. I'll take your consciousness and your key, please, sir. If you just turn around, that'd be wonderful. Please. It's a nice clock tower, by the way. What? Uh, huh? What? Wow! He made it sound like I killed him. Nope, you saw nothing. Shit. That didn't work well. <laughs> Hey, well, that was, that was complete and utter crap. Hopefully I can go around this way back to where I started. Then I will have seen Until all see there something. is to see. No, you didn't see anything. Shut up. What might that be? Me taking your what? key. There you are. I don't under... I don't... What? Try that again. Hi! Can you not be a pain in my ass, please? That'd be great. Movement. Movement? Uh, hi. You want him? Here, you get out of him! Ow! You, you stabbed him! It wasn't me! It was your fault! I didn't know there was somebody behind me. So we'll just go down that way. Hi! We're not going in there. How are you, asshole? What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? That's what I thought. Go, you. Fuck. Go, you. 
can sit here in the Carolino residence. Oh, I thought he had a sword out. Okay, I think that's where we started. What did I see there? You didn't see anything. Shut up. Keep going, dude. Shit. Well, I don't see anything now. Neither do I. There's nothing there. I knew it. Are you still there? Mm. Hey, Bruno, how you doing? Let's go over here so we can look around. Bruno's given me a hard time before. So I wonder if that would go up into the bank. If there's a bathroom, I doubt there would be a bathroom because there's a bathroom right down the hall from it. But if there's a bathroom over by the, um, over in the uh, safety deposit boxes, then I can get in that way. Bruno, you, you're, you're giving everybody a hard time. You know that, right? Look for places I can I'll grapple up to with my probably no rope arrows. <laughs> All right, now we can look around here a little bit. Moors go home. So fucking. Weird. They're taking our gerbs. I'm sorry, but you, as lazy as you are. You weren't going to take the job anyway. The gate to the Piazza Centaletta is closed from sundown to sunrise. Carriages and deliveries have to wait until dawn. Pedestrians are asked to walk through Vacola Torreseri in the evening hours. Be aware that suspicious looking individuals be apprehended and questioned by the mercenary guards and can be taken into custody for up to 48 hours without cause. Wow. This place is far too real. I want it to be fantasy again. God damn. Oh, it feels bad, man. It feels real bad. And I'm not saying I want it to be fantasy. It's just mar I'm just marking how close it is to real life, which is sad when I think about it. Real life is sad when I think about it is what I mean. I can't have the salami. What about the mushroom? No, not even the mushroom. Hello? Hi, how are you? Do you have anything in here that's good? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go through your personal belongings. I meant to pick the lock, but thanks anyway. There we go. Um, can I? There we go. Adolfo's journal, 21st October. I realize how lucky I am to be able to live here in this little apartment on the money I have saved up after a, a life of hard labor and fair pay. The young these days have a raw deal when it comes to making ends meet. Sitting on my terrace, the bottle of local Zinfandel and a wedge of Tolagino is a luxury few in this town can afford. I'm also lucky to have my friends Donata and Nicolino to exchange our bot novellas with. I particularly enjoy this last one I received, Ronaldo de Ronaldo La Capote, the story of a young man that takes to the dark of night to redistribute the wealth of his hometown. From the rich to the poor, we need a man like this in Santa Letta now more than ever. I mean, I could do that. The Deacon Bocascino, Bocascio, what, I can't, these names, down the street sure could use some charitable donations like that with all the destitute people looking to him for succor. But I guess that is just how it is when the city is run by these rap rapacious gangsters in many forms. You know what's going on, man. I kind of feel bad stealing from you now. You definitely know what is going on. You can you can spare a cup or two, right? Take your journal too, apparently. You know what? No, I won't. I can drop this, right? 
I'll leave your journal. I, I'd leave your other things, but I kind of need it to start out a new life here. Yeah, not very many people realize what's going on with the world today. A lot of people just want to close their eyes and hope that it doesn't happen to them. Ooh. Some jokes to try at the plastered piscino on Saturday. Here's a group of people who should have noisemakers shoved in their ear. Wow. These old rich bastards who think that health potions are going to let them live forever. All they're going all they're doing is drinking that juice that actually injured people needed to get well. That's not a joke. Get up from in front of the fireplace and take a walk once in a while. It'll do you some good. What? Here's another group of people who need to take a moss arrow to the mouth. The city council pencil necks who think it's funny to put these bright eyesore electric lights everywhere because it makes our city safer. How about instead of blotting out the stars at night, you make the conditions for people better so they don't have to resort to taffing? I mean, that's fair. But isn't taffing something else completely? Just saying. I don't think it's a, uh, it's shorthand for stealing, is it? That's a place. Don't ask me to pronounce what the place is, but that's a place. Ooh, what's this? Hello. Little side house. You got little carrots and apples and shit. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Probably shouldn't leave that outside. So cute little villa. What the hell? I thought it was a villa. Oh, this got creepy real quick. I hope that person is asleep. There we go. Okay, I'm confused. This is a place for homeless people or for the monks? Because if I'm stealing from the church, I feel a, a little less bad. Because two of you look like you're in rags. And you're all, you all look like you're dead. Nope, I hear snoring. Okay, I'll leave you be. Sorry, but your golden idol is mine. This is odd. It's like either less time was spent decorating in here or this church really doesn't give a shit about the lesser, the lessers. Let's see if it gets better, the higher we go, then we'll know. Hey, it's a toilet. Not very helpful. Yep, that's what it is. You don't have any uh, significant other up here waiting to ambush me, do you? Are they taking in the poor or are they taking advantage of the poor? One or the other, apparently. Let me take your apple. I'm taking your apple. I'll leave it for you. Have fun with that. Odd. I can't open those. Cholera outbreak on Belladonna Street. In the past fortnight, several people have fallen ill who live close to the well near, uh-oh, the plastered Pacino. The current hypothesis is that a sick and drunk patron threw up in the well. Oh. Officials have closed and locked the well, and locals living in the area are directed to fetch their water at the well down the corner of Via Santa. A uh, groundswell of burglary and petty crime in the south side. I'll have to try the north side as well then, won't I? No reason. Just cause. Journal of Deacon Alberto Boasio. Forgive me, Lord Builder, for I can barely contain my discontentment with your servant, Gyaltari. I wish only that he be set on the correct path in working to honor your glory. Unfortunately, he has yet again denied this chapel even the basest necessities to care for the poor wretches of Santa Letta. Oh, yep, he's a greedy fuck. 
It's always the ones in power. They love that power and they take advantage of it. The chill of fall will be upon us in a matter of weeks or days. These people lack food, warmth, and the guidance of your divinity. He instead seems firmly set on collecting the largest possible tithes to further gild his already posh abode. Desecrating the works of our prophet Amos. I understand that the importance of having impressive structures to show the goddess or the goodness of the builder, but when one gold-laced curtain could pay for food and lodging of the poor for a month, one must really start thinking of priorities. I wish only for enough food for my acolyte Stroza and myself to feed those who need it most. Three loaves of bread in my kitchen would cover it for this week. I implore you, Lord, help me help those in need. Ooh, can I? Let's see. Uh, procure three loaves of bread for deacon, for the deacon, and place them in his kitchen. Oh, that is cool. I want to do that. Nope, I know what I want to do now. Sleep soundly, madame. Don't know where your husband is. Oh, wait, sorry. I still have to steal from you. I apologize. Oh, sorry. <gasps> oh, never mind. You're not... I apologize. You are not a woman at all. Why are you in this bed by yourself? Why have a big bed like this? All right. Well, you're sleeping on the floor now, just like everybody else. All right. So three loaves of bread around the town. If I can take them all from the bishop, I will... Or Deacon here just trying to make ends meet. There's quite a lot of food here, but I guess bread has more substance than anything. That did a lot. <laughs> Are the cupboards... You have good wine. I'm sorry, but double standards here, son? You could be selling this stuff. Maybe he's just not thinking of that. All right, let's, we'll still see if we can find you three loaves of bread. You better go to the poor, otherwise I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna be pissed. Excuse me, kitty, you okay? Who stepped on the cat? Oh, those are pretty. So pretty. Is that snoring? I didn't hear you guys when I was in there. How can I hear you when I'm out here? Ooh, what's that? Oh, cool, you can hear the vent. That's a cool little addition. Hip. Man, you could really hear it. Whoop. That could have been bad. All right, well, let's go back over this way. Yep. Yep. Don't think I've seen another loaf of bread. Hopefully I didn't eat any. I'm assuming they wouldn't let me accidentally eat it. That cat is getting on my nerves. I swear. Uh, this is somebody's lair for sure. Wait, was that a gas arrow? No, it was not. Okay. Fair enough. Take all your ill-gotten gains. How dare you steal? I'm, I'm going to take from the rich and I'm going to give to the me. That's how that works, right? List of taffers. Wait, what? List of known local taffers. Bieni, Cambridge Spy, Me Mesla, Kingsel, Amadeus, Marazanti Crow, Kerry OOO, this has got, these have got to be people. Suave Steve. Watch out for Suave Steve. Best not to step on their toes by doing heists on their turf. You know where my turf is? Everywhere. 24th of October. This evening I hit a place on Via Beldana. On the third floor. The catch was two vases and a gold wine cup. Even this town has really turned into a sad profession over the last few years. 
I think that between the bankers, builders, and tax collectors, there really isn't much for a commoner to aspire to as far as putting some coin aside for a rainy day. Most people have to work night shifts, and the ones who don't are knock out tired at, the night, at night making breaking and entering a breeze. Most of the time, I feel bad stealing from them, but I have little choice. I do hope to build up the courage to hit some of the more upscale establishments in the future, but my initial research suggests that would be suicide. Just moving around on the streets at night on the south side of town is a challenge. The knowledge that the inside is heavily patrolled makes it all the more dangerous. The best way would be to use the sewer system underneath the city, but that presents its own problems with locked gates and the key and the key is kept by a guard in the machine room section. The church might not be too hard to hit, but I would really feel bad about that since Father Benetti is one of the few people with any power in this town that seems to actually care about the poor. The bank and the bishop's palace seem to be the wealthiest place in town, but they are also the most well patrolled. I'd have to agree, but also I need money. So I'm gonna take what I can get. I'll give them loaves of bread. That should take up, make up for it, right? Is this how that works? All right, let's see what's over here. And not get caught this time, maybe, yes? Well, I didn't last time, but I got damn close. Uh, let's fall down at a place where I won't break my legs. The bad habit of doing that. The stables. No horsies. Let's take it rid of the horsies. I like the horsies. Don't you love the sound of success and failure at the same time? It's great. I was locked pretty freaking tight. And come to think about it, I may very well have the key. You know what, sir? I need you out of the way. Sorry. Who are you? Who are you? Bertino, huh? Well, you can stay over here, Bertino. In the dark. I will take your... Get, I will take your key. Mercenary house key. Oh, so this is the mercenaries. Are they actual mercenaries, or is that just what they call their guard? Ooh, I'll take that. Almost poked my eye out with that thing. So the blacksmith, any weapon or armor that are faulty, broken, or needs sharpening should be placed on this table. Jesus. Once a month, Salvadore brings our gear that is in need of repairs to the blacksmith along with any new orders. Remember, we're still under rationing, so take good care of anything you bring out of the armory or that you practice with. We are only allowed to bring what we can actively use with us out of the armory. I don't make the rules. If you have a problem with this, bring it up with the commander. Luigi. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of shit. That's, uh, looks more like neglect than anything else. As rusty as those things are. Yeah, Alright, what do we got here? Okay. Desk box, you say? You mean this desk box? Open all the way. Fine. There we go. Nope, nothing moved. Don't worry about it. Sorry, you're going to have to go down for the count. Come on, Lorenza. We'll put you in here. Is there something up there? I have to come check that out. Lorenza. Sorry, but you're in my way. No, never mind. It's just it 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 it's just the armoire. Commander Calvinetti, it has come to my attention that your lower officers have been acting against suspicious individuals with extreme prejudice lately. I, of course, support this on a moral level, but I have to caution the optics of officer beating people of officers beating people in the street for no apparent reason. Could cause an uprising of civil unrest. And the rest of the stuff you do doesn't frickin' 
uh, cause unrest, I suggest you rein in your officers and have them not beat unarmed people in public, since if the people rise up as one against us, we will all pay the price. What a fucking shame that would be. What a shame. Bread, perhaps bread. An dry bread loaf. Ah, ah, ah. Hello, little box. How you doing up there? Little box. Oh, I can't bring him with me. I will eat the cheese, however. I could have brought that back for the poor, but instead, I'm gonna eat everything I frickin' can. Can I eat the fish? Oh God, I hate the fish. Yeah, it'd probably re be a real good idea to share some of this with the. Oh, just a minute. To share some of this with the poor, but I'm fucking hungry. I've been in a box for how many days? <laughs> Lorenza, I know there's a lot to learn in the beginning, and I think you're doing well so far. I heard that you got an earful from the commander the other night and that it left you a bit shook. It's not so bad serving the commander if you learn his ways. When he's working and alone, dote on him with exotic fruits and teas and engage in some small talk. If he's staying late or has guests over, don't bother him lest he call on you. Then hop to it quick, like, and make sure to bring the brandy and a golden cup. That's uh, some good advice, actually. Not that you would have to treat him differently than everybody else, but mm, people in power, like I said. Any more bread in here? Bananas. Attention, the fresh fruit we purchased is only meant for Commander Calva Calvasanti and Captain Belengio, whatever. I don't care what kind of threats or sweet talk the others give you. These are the rules laid down by the commander himself. And if anything goes missing, I will be holding you responsible, Lorenzo. Well, that's fucked up. What if somebody else sneaks in here? Like me. And, and like, like, like me, I can't get it. And those aren't fruits, those, those two are cucumbers. I think that's an eggplant. Eggplant's not a fruit, right? Right? Mm. It's a very golden pot. Mm, more fruit. Ah, all this food, I could take it to uh, my home. I mean, to the poor. Oh, I missed one. Right. I do one went flying. Aha! I have succeeded. In what? I don't know. Also, the stew's gonna burn. Maybe I shouldn't have knocked her out. Uh, actually... There we go. Don't know if there's still a guy out here. Guess it doesn't really matter. Anything under the stairs? <gasps> no! Alright. Maybe the captain's here and I can knock him out for being a dick. It's okay to beat people in the street as long as other people don't see. How you guys doing? Well, I can't like Light what? Men. As our recent failure on Via Belladonna has been a siren's call to the dregs of the poor quarters. Uh. I thought I heard somebody behind me. <laughs> it is time we step up our patrols and make it a bit harder for them to skirt us. To that end, I have made a new route for you to follow effective immediately. Bruno, patrol around... God, they're loud. Patrol around the northwest gate and the back of the bank and go through the tunnel down the Vicalo Tarasier. I'm never going to get these right. And turn back. Gallo, patrol from the Casa Miaro down to Viallo to Sar to, Sar, to whatever, and further down whatever and whatever and back. Stay around the piazza. Okay. Well, I think I've actually knocked everybody out. Yeah, with the snoring behind me and the people talking to my left, it just sounded like there was somebody right behind me. This is bad. What's bad? Got a bad hand? I ate your apple. Now that's bad. All right. Well, these guys play poker. I think I'm going to take a break. So, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing. 
and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag, signing off. Break, break, break. Batman. Oh, you can. Oh, God. Uh. Close the damn door, please. Oh, God. It scared the crap out of me. I wasn't expecting that. Come in. I mean, don't come in. <laughs>